that was, by the way, Sounds of Silence um, intro as played by Simon and Garfunkel in the early 70s. They performed it live to about half a million people in New York Central Park. Maybe you'll correct me and tell me it was a million, but I know it was a lot of people. Um, going to get some lights going here. All right. So how do we know it's A suspended fourth and G suspended fourth? I'll show you how the chords derived in terms of intervals. And that's the purpose of this lesson. You've got your A major scale, as you know, in this position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, back to 1. Now, I'm assigning numbers to the notes of the A major scale here, if you didn't know that. In terms of the Nashville numbering system, it was developed in the late 50s. In Nashville. Okay, and in this, you've got that position, and then second octave. Now, in this position, three notes per string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be confused. One, two, major, third. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get to know that. Now, that was 1, that was 10. That note there you know in the A major makes is the major third note. You know that it makes the A major sound major and you know that when I lift, lift the 10th to the sharp 9, it becomes A minor. Now, A major played in this 5 string version note what I do to get the suspended chord. I lift, well I don't need to but I do, it's a force of habit that I play it like that. My pinky is depressing the D note which is the fourth interval. Two, three, four, D note. There's the octave. Four plus seven is eleven. Just remember when you go into the second octave horizontally you add seven to the note. In other words two becomes becomes uh, nine okay just remember that when they refer to sharp nine they mean sharp two okay i'm adding the eleventh or the fourth note the a there's a five finger version of a major and i'm just changing the fingering there to add the, um, the fourth interval of the A major scale. And that's known as A suspended fourth. In other words, the mathematical formula is 1, 5, 4 or 1, 4, 5. Because the major scale is 1, 3, 5. Just remember that. The minor scale is 1, flat 3. suspended is one four five but you get that sound when you play it as a chord a augmented chord is one sharp five and a three if you wanted to know a suspended chord is where you lower the major third to a to a second and it sounds like I play an A note down here and I play the suspended fourth with the add the D, the fourth note of the A major scale. Now when I take the major third and I reduce it to the second note, which is the the B note, B is the second note of A major, and I get A suspended two. The formula for that is one, two, five. See, five is the common note that must be in every chord. A one and a five is a power chord. You know, you rock and roll and metal players will recognize it. One and a five is a power chord. You only need two notes to make a major chord, a one and a five interval. 
a um, and I've shown you how to get suspended fourths and suspended seconds in the key of D major excuse the tuning but there's a D major I'm adding the fourth interval the G note there with my pinky that's D suspended fourth and when I play D in the second which is the open E string I've got a D suspended second so you'll recognize these sounds One, four, five, suspended second, suspended fourth. Diminished is everything flat. One, flat three, flat five, um, etc. Just, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get myself in a mess here. Those are the diminished scales and. Uh, I'm really enjoying using them occasionally to get that outside sound. You can use it to great effect in blues. Um, so we've covered the one suspended second, suspend the major, that's the major third note, the minor third is one flat three five, um, uh, suspended fourth is one four five. Um, we've covered the cover augmented, one three sharp five, the F note. Augmented. That's probably if you want to play more classical music, maybe fusion as well. And, um, and for your metal players, I'll just go over the Hungarian minor again. One, two, flat three, flat five, six. Oh, not six. Um, five, flat five, five, flat six. Major seven root. Lovely sounds you can get out of that. All by using the intervals. I'm playing in D major here, by the way. One, two, flat three, flat five, five, flat six, seven. together now and when you do it up here if I can call it the uh, fourth registry because you've got two horizontal octaves down here in you know, A major as I explained to you earlier and then from the 12th fret you move into the third octave on the top three strings and then on the bottom three strings you're moving into the fourth octave available on this instrument and never forget this beautiful get it to ring out but on my electric guitar can uh, I hope this helps you if you put all these pieces of the puzzle together you're gonna you're gonna make magical music and then um, note that I'm using chord tones when I'm soloing that all the notes in the actual chord so you, you build your solos the guy sang the, it verbally but I'm you know if I had my electric guitar I'd make it sing sing a bit more for you by adding some vibrato vibrato shaking your hands around Almost as if you had uh, a physical disease, you could. But it takes a lot of practice, um, and many years later, I'm still getting better at it. You need to recognize on the guitar, the same notes occur in different positions. A, A. So you have those options. When you're soloing, 
Have you ever wondered what's happening? You have different options. You have two octaves horizontally. You have another two beyond the 12th fret that you can play with. Some notes you can hit on five in five octaves, like an E, because you have that open string available. Anyway, have, have fun with this instrument. It's a lot of fun.